You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Alleluia. Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, author of the freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that I read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in the tomb. But God raised him from the dead and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Word of the Lord. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall scatter them like an earthen dish. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you ruling of the, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. 
I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going you know the way. And Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to me, to the Father, except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading taken from the book of the Acts of the Apostles and uh, depicting a, a segment of uh, Paul missions among the Gentiles raises for us the question if we are good storytellers. You see, Jesus was uh, a master in uh, storytelling. The gospel itself, the way that we are receive them, they are magnificent uh, storytellings. And uh, the disciples, at least from uh, what we can uh, know from uh, the first chapter of the book of the Acts of the Apostles, were excellent storytellers. <coughs> and Paul goes on the same line. And they were uh, excellent storytellers because uh, more than uh, speaking about Jesus, they share the experience of Jesus. And that's uh, what makes the old difference, and that's uh, what also allowed the good news to reach the hearts or the hearing of those who listen. So the first reading basically bring us back to this very basic question. What is the quality of our experience of Jesus the Christ in order to be then good storytellers of our experience of Jesus the Christ? The reading of the Gospel according to John offers us a second takeaway for, from today's liturgy. The reading of the Gospel belongs within the Gospel of John to the chapter 14, 15, 16, and 17 that basically depicts the events happening immediately before Jesus' crucifixion. And we are actually at the very beginning of this big section. And Jesus foreseen what would then happen from now on he foresees that the disciples would have gone through deep trouble, great anxiety, tremendous worries. And it opens addressing to them with the words, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let your hearts be fearful. Now, there is a fear that is a good one. The fear, for example, when we find ourselves in danger. A fear that brings us to be prudent. But there are also different kind of maybe more subtle fears that rather than letting us be good storytellers of the good news, they just pull us back. Uh, fear of rejection or fear of uh, a failure, a fear of taking a risk, a fears, in other words, that uh, they can uh, hint to the fact that God's love is in us, 
is not fully shaped or fully mature. Later on uh, in the same Gospel of John, uh, Jesus points out that fear and love cannot coexist together. One replaces the other. And uh, our journey of faith is uh, one way of approaching it is uh, to send away gradually the fears that uh, may come from uh, God's love not fully shaped in us with the faith that Jesus is uh, talking about in this uh, reading of the Gospel of John. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. And so let us ask in this liturgy the grace of growing in our faith that eventually will be able to bring us, to lead us to be good and effective storytellers of the good news of Jesus the Christ. And now let us offer our prayers and petition to our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis and our Bishop, may the intercession of Pope St. Pius V guide them in their pastoral decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may God bless them in their service to their community let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel lost or abandoned, may they be comforted by the warmth of the Lord's abiding presence. Let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those in this faith community engaged in education, may the Lord bless their dedication and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Pope, I mean for our Bishop de Cunha. For our beloved dead, may they be brought swiftly to their eternal home by the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. And today's Mass is being celebrated for Ruth Medeiros, Dora McGlynn, and Sheila Julio. Let us pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen uh, at these prayers of ours and also to welcome those that we be in our hearts. We offer all of them in the name of your Son and our Lord Jesus the Christ. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vines and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but obtain the gifts that are eternal through the Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to our Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light are raised to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all is risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unhemmed in of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed he is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> and therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Egdar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesive to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. At this time, you can make a spiritual communion. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. In the communion antiphon, Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions, and we were raised again for our justification. Alleluia.
and let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved from your, by your kindness, the redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with may God bless you, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go and remain in the peace of the Lord. And have a nice day.
Dios.